City and Stoke. Obviously, 7 2 to Man City. Uh, City, uh, is it a case where you just hand them the league title now? It seems that way, yeah. What I want to say. The way they're playing now, you'd have to say, yeah. I mean, what have they scored in their last, like, three home games? Like, what is it, 17 goals or something ridiculous like that? And obviously they put six past Watford. I mean, they're just scoring goals as if it's handing out a, a pound coin. A pound coin, sorry. It's just it's just crazy. But again, that's the kind of, you know, um, that's the kind of money they have to offer. They can spend the big money on big money players and get both results. And obviously, seeing them score seven, you know, I mean, I was at, I was at the game between Man City and Palace when they put five past us. I thought, this is just going to be painful this season, you know, but... With Man City, it's safe to say they're definitely up there this season. And Chelsea and Man United have got to start getting results, you know, trying to catch City. Otherwise, they're going to run away with it, in my opinion. Yeah, Phil, how do you feel? Yeah, so, obviously, we've said this in previous videos talking about Man City, but when Pep first got to the Premier League, there was there was always talk of him having an arrogance in not changing the system. Because it's obviously it's worked for him. He's been one of the most successful managers in the world. But you're kind of seeing that this arrogance and the belief in the system is finally play, paying off. And the way City are playing, they're treating it like La Liga. They're, they're, they're waltzing past defences. And to be honest, they didn't have the greatest start to the season. But you see them now and they're just putting teams to the sword. Yeah. And he does have he does have squad he does have players obviously that we may not rate as the best players but he has Raheem Sterling scoring goals you know Sane's getting a few crackers like Kev Kev De Bruyne is the puppet master Sane is an incredible player. he's an incredible player he really yeah. is um well in my eyes like obviously there is the situation where uh, Pep has been called a fraud all last season and stuff like that because the results weren't going his way. But he didn't really have the squad that he ha- that he that he wanted, and uh, it seems as though he's he's bought the squad that he wants now. But what I would say is that uh, for every, everyone who's brought in, I don't think that really mattered because right now, like, is there a better player in the Premier League than Kevin De Bruyne? In my opinion, no. No, um, he's just he he controls the midfield. He's so calm. He brings people into play. He can score goals himself. Uh, I think he is he is a special player. Like I know a few like last year when I was I was always in this purple purple patch of form, and I wanted to put Ozil up there with him, but I just can't do that. Like Kevin, I think Kev De Bruyne as far as number tens go, I think he's on another planet to the rest of them. Yeah, well, you look at some of the balls that he just put in yesterday. They were unbelievable. Like, I was watching football Incredible. porn, almost. <laughs> now, nah, but, like... Uh, if, if, yeah, I mean, look, that's just... I mean, you look at... You feel, their, sorry, their feel sorry for the likes of you Stoke. Know, because, though, obviously, right? last season... You do, oh, because, gosh. obviously, no one wants to go and play City at the minute. You know, I was terrified of going to watch them the other the other week just before we played Man United. I thought, oh, God, I can't believe I'm going, I'm going to this game. But that's the whole point of teams like City is that they need to have that fear factor if they're going to win the title. Because, obviously, last season, City weren't necessarily at their best for a lot of the season. They were really slacking off when they should have been putting pressure on Chelsea and Tottenham who were going for the title pretty much on their own, really. No one else was really up there with Spurs and Chelsea. Um, but this season, Guardiola has managed to get rid of the likes of Navas and Sanya, Kolarov, uh, Clichy, players that weren't his style. You know, yeah. the players he had Dead, there last season were very, very much... Very much... Um, Deadwood. Mancini and Pellegrini-style players, you know... Um, and City have managed to bring in the likes of Bernardo Silva, obviously Benjamin Mendy, who's unfortunately injured. But they got rid of Ian Acho. Not necessarily sure if that's a good idea, but listen, we can go back and forth about who you know who they should have sold and who they shouldn't have. But the players they brought in alongside the players they have, like David Silva, who somehow doesn't get worse with age. He keeps getting better the older he gets, which is scary when you think of it. Because since he's been in the Come Premier on, League, he puts the fear of God in so many players and so many fans. Definitely, yeah. But and, I think I think I think with that you know, I think Pep's, I... Pep's been very uh, very shrewd in that sense because he has players playing around Silva with pace, so he doesn't have to do that much, you know. Um, yeah, 
the likes of De Bruyne will, will cover yeah, the ground and, and he'll, he'll get the assist. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. You know, you look at you look at their player recruitment. You know, they've got Kevin De Bruyne, who Chelsea must be kicking themselves for selling him, because if they've sold De Bruyne, they must be thinking, "Oh my God, what have we done?" Yeah. Because there's no question that De Bruyne is one of the best in the league, probably one of the best in Europe. Not so much the world, because we haven't seen Belgium do that well in tournaments. They've done okay, but they haven't got to the business end of a tournament where you could say, okay, this Belgium team could go far. That's probably the one thing that's lacking for players like De Bruyne and Hazard. They do it well in the league for their clubs, but internationally, we don't see that much. But with City, they've got the likes of Sane, Sterling, uh, Gabriel Jesus, who for me, I'm thinking, Jesus... That's that's a, well, excuse the pun, but you know that's that's a hell of a forward they've got because Aguero, of course, Aguero, yeah. But you know they've relied on Aguero for so long because they brought the likes of Bonnie, sold him. They bought Jeco. They could get a goal out of him, but he was gone before they could really see the best of him. And obviously, he's been at Rover and has been smacking them in. They've brought in players. Like, I mean, you go back ten years. They had Ben Johnny playing that top for them. I don't that's think I don't think it was quite ten then. years ago. Oh, it was ten years ago, 2008, They had Benjani, you know. So you and so you Robinho, look at where they've come they had, in those ten years, and you're thinking, Jesus. Well, they had Robinho. You know, and um, they they've made yeah, well, yeah, Robinho as well, yeah. But you look at players like Fabian Delph, who everyone cannot understand how he's at Manchester City. We all know it's because of the um, English quota, you know, the homegrown rule and whatever. But is he a Manchester City player? No. Is he even a Premier League player? not really you know he did well in the championship because he just doesn't strike anyone as that good a player but City right now I don't know if we agree with that I think when he plays he does he does well for City like obviously he got he got a goal recently as well I think I think like obviously he's not going to set the world alight as a midfielder but I think he does do a solid job for Pep well look all I'd say to you is Forget about Fabian Delph, he's just there as a backup. Um, look at De Bruyne, look at his assists. His assist for Sani's goal, his assist for uh, Jesus' goal. And, you know, there's no bar- there's no player out there playing better than him right now. He's unbelievable. And he's also scoring goals in big games, no, like listen, that goal against he Chelsea. Is, he is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous just how good he is. And again, as I said, Chelsea are looking at him and thinking, we actually sold this guy? Why? And came back to haunt you know, him there they, recently, you know. Because the, the, the thing that, I mean, obviously, you know, Saturday's game against Palace proved that Chelsea missed a player of De Bruyne's quality. Because, let's face it, I'm not going to lie, Palace should have been completely demolished by Chelsea on a good day. And obviously they're missing key players and rare, rare. But that's the difference between Chelsea and City. City can have a key player missing, but still completely snort a team. Chelsea have a few players missing and they completely fold against a team that has got no chance if they had a full strength team. So right now for me, City are very much up there to win the title. Obviously, people were saying that last season and the season before and it didn't come off because obviously Man City tend to like to give themselves more work to do than they should. But at the minute, if they're not in teams 5-0, 5-0, 7-2, 6-0, that's that's worrying because the rest of the league are going to think, Jesus, wet, what is that? That's not the yeah. city we're all used to. City likes to mess it up every now and again. Yeah, but it does put a fear in teams around them. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we we'll, we we'll leave it there for the fans to kind of leave their comments on it. Like, do you think there's a 